Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Fantasy Hot Corner. David Jackmill, Kevin Walsh, and another breaking news update. Keenan Allen going down with a kidney issue. He is out for the season. That is big for that Chargers offense. What do you see going on here? Well, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's 146 right now. Um, I did a, a show about, you know, <laughs> I, think was, I think it was 1246, honestly, when I might have just wrapped that show up. Talking about Keenan Allen, I mean, the timetable wasn't clear. I mean, someone literally, you know, I, I listened to, to, to certain people talking about it. They said maybe he plays Monday night, you know, with an extra day of rest. <laughs> now he's out for the season. This is big. Phil Rivers is throwing the ball more than anybody in the NFL. He's leading the league in yards. He's on pace to actually break the yards record. Um, and Keenan Allen was his number one guy by far. Uh, number one targets, number one receptions, just all over Keenan Allen. He was a top five receiver across all fantasy leagues. Um, so it, it, it's just a really big breaking news. And, and now, you know, where does the adjustment come in? Malcolm Floyd, must own. Must own. Last week, once Keenan Allen went out of the game, uh, you know, he, he really, Philip Rivers really did turn to Malcolm Floyd. I, so you got to have Malcolm Floyd. Yeah, and, and Antonio Gates is another must own. He, Antonio Gates has always been Philip Rivers' guy, and he's going to really rely on him now that Keenan Allen is gone because Keenan Allen has really been solid this season. You know, he's been the guy to, that Philip Rivers has been able to go to on like a third down situation where he needs a first down. Now that guy's going to be definitely Antonio Gates. Yeah, you need to really think just about his value. Antonio Gates has played three games this season due to the suspension, and then, uh, you know, he, he's, he's had a, uh, you know, a little injury issue there. With Antonio Gates, uh, he had two nine reception games, and he played on Sunday banged up, and he was still getting the ball forced to him by Philip Rivers. He is he loves Antonio Gates. It's the guy he's been with forever. He trusts him more than anybody. And Ladarius Green, his backup who looked valuable, he's been dealing with some injuries himself. So if you can go to any Antonio Gates owner. If you need help with a tight end, I mean, you need to be willing to give up, but you're going to get back a guy who's going to be guaranteed top three tight end between him, Gronk, and Greg Olson. Um, Antonio Gates is going to be in that mix for the rest of the season. So if you can, that's something that you really want to have. Yeah, he can be a great piece going down for the playoff stretch here. You know, what a valuable piece that you can maybe trade for and get an asset that you're not really giving up so much for, but you still got to give up something of decent value. I will say this. If you own Phillip Rivers... I would strategically try to sci- uh, sell high on Rivers. Absolutely. Right now, he, you know, with the numbers that he's putting up, he's 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 been amazing. And I, and I'm not saying that, you know, necessarily he's going to stop throwing the ball as much. But you think about it, if someone really needs help in quarterback in your league, they're going to give up a lot to get a guy like Philip Rivers, who's putting up top five numbers. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I definitely think though that without Keenan Allen, this this could be a bit concerning. You could get a lot back. For Philip Rivers, if you have a reliable backup on your Yeah, and you know Rivers is gonna be looking around, saying, "Oh, who can I really trust?" And you know that might you know get him thinking on these you know big plays, third down situations that he doesn't know who he can throw the ball to. And you know his performance can suffer from that. So I I, I agree with you that if you can sell high and get something really good back, and and there's quarter there's always quarterbacks. Let's say you know one of the t- uh, quarterbacks in the, one of the bad teams always putting up good numbers because mm-hmm. they're throwing so much. Absolutely. So. You know, if you can sell high on Philip Rivers and get something good in return, I would absolutely do so. Definitely. I mean, you you know, you could play matchups. Jam- Jameis Winston against the Giants this week. If Derek Carr is still available, and, and you know, maybe you drafted a good backup. I know. I'm in one league where someone you know doubled up on quarterbacks, right? Uh, pick after pick, and they went Philip Rivers and Eli Manning. Now, obviously, you saw what Eli Manning did last week. That's definitely a nice plug-in, and you get some really good value for Philip Rivers. But that is all the advice that we have for you guys. Unfortunately, Keenan Allen though out for the season, so. Uh, react appropriately. Waiver Wire Wednesday is coming up, so go ahead and grab Malcolm Floyd. Kevin Walsh, Dave Giacomino. It's been the Fantasy Hot Corner.